Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> It's recording now, um, just so you know. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, fuck child slavery. That's all I gotta say. That's it's been episode one twenty four. Peace. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what? Let me. Wait, what the fuck? What, what happened to your other one? Oh, I fucking pounded it. Is that the one you spilled? Yeah. Which one? The one that you spilled. The last one? Yeah. I didn't spill it all the way. I just spilled a little bit of it. You okay? You're gonna have a heart attack. Yeah, I'm fine. It's my fourth one of the day. Fuck it, it's my first time trying the, the Kuruba elderflower. Oh, flower. dude, it's so good. That's my favorite. That is my favorite. It is so good. Kuruba. That's, like a, that's a Hungarian word. It means bitch. I think it's Kuruba. What is a, oh. what is a Kuruba? It's artificially flavored. That's what it is. What's the elderflower? Elder ring? Elder ring? Banana passion fruit. Ooh. Yo, this is really good, bro. Yeah, it's really good, right? It tastes like a wine punch. Karuba. Totally. Oh, it's got all those little eggs in it. Oh, it's like a fig. No, but it's got all those little eggs in it. Dude, so someone at work, uh, some lady brought like a shit ton of those today, uh, the other day at work. They're sour. But no. See, they're a little different. They were black. They called it a fig. Okay. Okay. How do you say fig in Spanish? Uh, <laughs> so they, they had this weird ass name for it, and I was like, what the fuck are you saying? It looks like a, a really tiny black nut sack. Like, it was black, <laughs> and it was all shriveled up, dry, and they're like, oh, just eat it. And I was like, are you sure? I was like, I don't even know what this is. So I had to find an old head that spoke English to translate. I was like, dude, what is this? You know what, dude? I'm like, oh, it's a fig. Yes, my, no, I, it's not a fig. Because it had those same little eggs inside, No, no, right? that's different, yes, totally. The one you're talking about had those little eggs inside? Uh -huh. My parents have had them before. I... Pasiflora. Maybe. I believe that's passion fruit. No, no, no. Okay, let's look. Let's look at it. Go ahead. No, it wasn't that. No. No. So look, look up fig. See, these are the ones that I'm talking about yeah, that my parents have eaten. Those are good though. It's not a fig, dude. Look, no, look up fig. This is this is what I'm trying to tell you that I ate. Yes, that's what I ate. A black ball sack. Oh, what? Really? Yeah. That's what I ate. But it was dry. Like, you see how those are kind of like still got smoothness to them? Yeah, This is yeah. like a wrinkled up ball sack after like 10 rounds, you know what I'm saying? And it still had all that stuff in there? Yeah, and it tasted really good. It, I was a little scared at first. Like this? Yes, but it wasn't that color. It was... That's gnarly. Yeah, see that? I wouldn't eat that. My, my, I've seen my parents eat that. My, They're pretty good. You know what, man? Who, who's got the most... Well, who's got the most exotic fruit... I can tell you right now. The Amazons. The Amazonian rainforest. Those tribes out there be living lavish, huh? With their fruit types? No, but they got like... I think they have the most plants in the world in one location. Something like that. Something like they have the most fruits or something. I remember seeing that on the internet. Don't quote me though, but quote me. See, just imagine... <laughs> just imagine the... the when, when we... When we as humans... Began experimenting and tried to figure out... What was edible and what wasn't. And people were probably dropping like flies. See, the thing is, they were already dropping like flies from simple shit. Like what? Common cold. Like, people die from the common cold. But back then, it was like, you're dead. No matter what. Diabetes, dead. By the way, how'd they learn that, like, taking the cow spleen was insulin? You know? Wait, what? Yeah. Cow spleen. What is cow spleen? That's insulin. What is a spleen? I don't know. We all have one, right? What does a spleen do? <laughs> I don't know why. I saw the most disgusting food I've ever seen in my life. And it wouldn't let me download it. I didn't even want to go through the trouble of screen recording on my piece of shit phone. The spleen has important has some important functions. It fights invading germs in the blood. The spleen contains infection fighting white blood cells. It controls the level of blood cells, white blood cells, and red blood cells, and platelets. And it filters the blood and removes any old or damaged red blood cells. So all the expired ones, it gets rid of them. Wow. Kind of important, I guess. 
this, he needed that. This lady's like, oh, look, I just, she takes off the lid, and I'm like, what the hell is that? And then she's like, oh, I just made my husband placenta stew. And I was like, excuse me? Excuse me? Placenta. The thing that comes out of your vagina after you give birth? She fucking took it home and made her husband stew. You know what, though? But that's a, that's a really... Co- I'm not saying the stew, but the placenta thing is extremely common. I know. We've talked about how they you dry it up and they make pills. Extremely and you take, common. You take placenta pills, which is totally fine. But this... A stew? Have you seen a placenta? No, I haven't. It's disgusting. It's this fucking organ that's attached to the baby. That, dude, that's disgusting. Are you kidding me? What? That is gnarly. Oh, dude. But you know what, dude? It's kind of close to like, it it reminds me of when we had the ox intestines. You remember that? Terrible. You remember that? Never again. It it reminds me of it. Never again. How do people eat that shit? You wouldn't eat your wife's placenta? I'd eat the fuck out of my wife's placenta. Okay. If they cooked it better than whatever that lady did, because it looked disgusting. Just imagine like some menudito or something, you know? With the caldito and the, and the little... With potato and shit? Potato. Or, or me, I would prefer fucking pozole, right? So maybe throw some fucking... Uh, how do you say it? Hominin? 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 You, is that what it is? Are you quagmiring out right now? How many? Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Give me those things. Um, oh, dude. It's making my stomach turn already. Really? It makes you... Ooh, it, really? That's what it looked like. That dark ass one. Ooh. Give me the umbilical cord too, man. Give me superpowers. I, I had my baby's umbilical cord for a long time. Do you still have it? No. The grandparents took it. You should have fucking ate that thing. You, you can think get so? superpowers. Think so? I don't know. I really don't know. Do you believe that kind of stuff? What do you mean? Like that, it, that it'll. Oh, totally. Those baby cells? Uh huh. Why do you think fucking Hillary Clinton's still alive? Uh huh. Hmm. I would take some of those pills for sure. I would even, I would even try the stew, man. I mean, if I could find the video again, which I can't. See, that's the thing about Instagram. You can't search for a specific reel like you can on TikTok. Mm-hmm. TikTok, you can search keywords and it'll pop up. It'll be like within the first 10. But Instagram, never, I'll never find it again. You've been on the talk lately? No, I wish. You wish, but you aren't? The thing is, is that my Instagram reels are curated perfectly. Perfectly. It's a mixture of dank food, video games, and I would say 60 to 70% of my Instagram reels are actually for the comment section and they know that. So they give you the most obscure comment sections. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of dank food on mine. I know, you've been sending me some dank stuff. Oh, so that, so that thing, that thing recently, that, that grilled cheese sandwich, is actually gonna make it for me soon. What, 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 what was it again? It was like a, a, a I know I had hot honey in it. Hot honey grilled cheese sandwich. Did so, it have bacon? Yes. Oh, baby. It looks good, baby. She was like, oh, yeah, I'll make it for you. No problem. I, I will say, I will I will <laughs> firmly say that a grilled cheese sandwich is on my top three of favorite foods in the world. Okay, what are your other two? Pizza and sushi. That is, it's literally you. That's literally so you. And you could have made a better list. In no specific order. Okay, so where on this list does your mom's food rank? On my all-time list? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Somewhere in the top ten? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there something that she makes that's in the top ten? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Probably some... Oh, dude. Probably her dank-ass tortas. Those are good. Tortas with carne roja? Oh, yeah, man. Da- did, you, did you show her the, that lady I sent you to do the, the dipped sandos? No, I didn't. Remember? She like put this like enchilada sauce on both like she dipped the, the whole the fucking bolillo, yeah. And then she cooked it like that. See when when she makes when she makes those tortas, she puts some of the some of the broth oh yeah on before Fuck. and it soaks in yeah, on the inside. So those breads are so dank. Mm. You know what though? I do I, I, I am a personal um how do you call them? Telera. 
fan. What the fuck is that? I prefer those over bolillo. So it's more like flat and like UFO shaped instead of <laughs> football shaped, you know? Can you show me? Yes, I will totally show you. So is that like number four? That's four? No, 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 no. No. We're going with like, okay, give me a range here. Seven? Five, six, seven Look, range? The letter is, it's, it's flat. But it has the same old, yeah, those are, do they serve those at like restaurants? See, those are softer. Yeah? Yeah, but I think so. Sometimes I like that crunch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, those are softer, but I think those are, uh, yeah, they're, they're both amazing. But those are the ones you see in like El Chavo del Ocho, you know, where he's eating those those sandwiches of, uh, of uh, those ham sandwiches? Yes. So, could I like generalize a food? So like the dim sum. At a dim sum restaurant, they got like noodles and other shit too. Mm-hmm. That's that's like up there for me. But are you going for the dim sum? I'm going, I'm going for it all, baby. Or are you just going? Are, but are you going for one specific thing? Because at a sushi restaurant, they have multiple things as well. But I'm going for the sushi strictly. <sighs> at a pizza place, they have multiple things, not not just pizza. Totally. But totally. I'm going for the pizza. Okay. So I would say number one, chilorianos. That's like my all-time faves. Okay. Ever. Wow. Shit. <laughs> yeah. They're number, fucking good. Number two, I do uh, probably sushi. Fuck, dude. Number three is hard. Dude, you came up with the top three like crazy, but that's that's all you eat, though. That's, <laughs> that's life. That's baby. all you eat. That that's is all life. You fucking eat. Oh, I'll say Canes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> dude, the, the, the Canes hate in the chat is crazy, man. It's ridiculous. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> um, fuck, dude. Hmm. Couldn't tell you. Honestly, I'm just going to generalize dim sum. It's because there's two things on my mind with the dim sum. What are they? I forgot the name. I think it's pork shalambao. I think that's okay. what it's called. It's like pork and shrimp and a dumpling. And Amazing. The, and, the, and the second? It's, it's, uh, I think it's tam tam noodles, something like that. So between those two, pick one. Gun to your head. The first one. The first one. Pork bao lao? Shaolin Bao. Shaolin Bao. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's it. So it's pork Shaolin Bao, sushi, uh -huh. and chile relleno. Yeah. Wow. Good. That's good shit. That's a that's vast majority. Usually, like when I go to like a Mexican restaurant and I don't, I've never been there before, I'll order chile relleno. You know, like your pastor is like, oh yeah, I'm gonna test this place out with the pastor. Uh -huh. I'll test with the children. Okay, okay. Yeah, see, I used to do that too. I used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I used to do that too, but it wasn't to see how good the rent well, I was obviously rating the restaurant. But I did it to find one better than my mom's. Wow. You know? Did I ever find it? No. No. My offer's still on the table that I will fucking pay for everything I, and I, I will fucking let her fucking chef it up for me. I've yet to find one to this day, but I mean, I'm sure it has something to do with like uh with with the connection that she's the fucking OG like that, from you know? fucking OG Mexico but um if I really uh, something else I had on my mind too is uh chilaquiles that I really enjoy oh yeah who makes the best honestly dude lazy dog got some sleeper chilaquiles they have they have that on their on their brunch sunday oh yeah wow sleeper chilaquiles chilaquiles there's like a brunch place that me and my girl are going to go to this Wait. Maybe this weekend. Brunch is 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 brunch a weekend thing? I wish it was an everyday thing. I wish it was an everyday thing too. Two? Two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. I slow my words all the time. It's okay. Don't fucked up. Don't fucked up. <laughs> oh. Bitch ass. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm not like a breakfast guy. You know, so that's why brunch is kind of perfect because my girl can get her fucking French toast and I'll be over there with a fucking skillet. You know what I'm saying? See, but dude, how could you not? That is the best thing ever. And in my opinion, breakfast, that's the best meal of the day. But it's like in all those movies, right? In all those corny teenager movies. What? Um, you see a kid running down the stairs. He's in a rush to get to school. The, the family's got the most banging oh, yeah. breakfast uh -huh. ever. They take a sip of their orange juice. Get a piece of bacon. All right, mom, gotta go. And it's always a piece of crispy bacon. Like, bro, you you really not gonna go to school late to enjoy this? Yeah. What the fuck? No, the school doesn't even fucking care. 
what are you doing, fam? And then, and then, and then, and then, he gets to school. And there's like a mass shooting or something. No. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he gets a pre-warmed packet of Pillsbury mini pancakes. You kidding me, bro? Fire. Fire. Although fire. <laughs> Very fire. I was a big fan of school food. Really? Especially breakfast, dude. Oh, yeah. See, so the only time I got food at school was during summer school. And they had the bombest breakfast, like little cinnamon, cinnamon sticks. Yes, bro. They were so fucking good. So good. What cinnamon the sticks. They would have those bags of Pillsbury mini pancakes. Nah, didn't try those. With cinnamon, cinnamon flavored as well. Man, I'm a fat sucker for anything cinnamon. Mmm, baby. So you, you have your master burger. I was going to say master killer. I don't know why. <laughs> you have your master burger and I have my Zorba. I was thinking about this because okay. uh, Daniel from work me and him sometimes like every two weeks we'll go get a burger from there bacon cheeseburger no tomato why no tomato I'm not a fan of like tomato like that you know what I'm saying I'll grow up you don't even fucking eat ketchup or pickles or anything I eat ketchup. I know, I know. <laughs> you don't eat fucking pickles. Grow up. Yes, you're right so, about that. Okay, but whoa, 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 before whoa. you get to your Zorba, <laughs> I will say, I have been growing up and maturing a little bit. <laughs> In select sandwiches and burgers, will I have pickles? Select. Okay, what about Chili's? Ch Chili's has the dankest burgers out of any chain, plus... Dank ass. Their pickles are dank sauce. I think I've only ever tried one burger from there. I don't think I had pickles. I have eaten their fried pickles though. Is that kind of cheating? Because no. it's no. Still a pickle. Still a pickle. Yeah, I have had that. But Zorbas? So Zorbas. Sadly, so like we used to go there like twice a week type deal. Okay. Wow. And we would talk to them. They're super super nice people. And then now we're going like every few weeks type deal. And they keep saying, yeah, business is getting real bad. Like, we're going to have to close down soon. It sucks. Change of ownership? No. It's just, it's slow. It's slow. It'd be like that. So, that's we're talking about breakfast. So, I either always get a chorizo egg burrito. Fire. And they have this red sauce. It's so spicy, but it's so good. I love that. Or I'll get a bacon cheeseburger, no tomato, and the fries well done, the side of ranch. Fuck. And that bacon they get is thick and extra crispy. And then every time we go there, we're like, dude, this burger is so good. I don't know why I've never told you about it. Every time we're like, dude, this burger is so good. So good. Zorba's? Yeah. So good. What's their, uh, what's their health rating? I haven't even looked. Look next time. I will. I want to know. They did actually remodel a bunch of shit there. Because I remember I went to their bathroom one time. You know, like, those, like... Well, no wonder they're going fucking under. They don't get business and they're remodeling. What, what, what are they it doing? It looks nice in there. It looks nice in there. It does look nice. I remember I got really pissed one day. This is, like, right when I fucked up my leg. And they had left water right there. And they just put, like, a mat on top. And I slipped on it. And I hurt my fucking leg again. Like, it was, like, a few weeks after. Oh, that shit sucked. I was so pissed. But, uh... Yeah, so Daniel convinced me. He's like, bro, you got to try the French toast fucking breakfast plate. This was like a few weeks ago. And that French toast, brother, it wasn't like super thick or anything special. It was just French toast, powdered sugar, some egg, and some bacon with syrup. And I was like, this is amazing. And I think it's every, every, every how often? Four or five years? That our taste buds change? Do, are you saying that I maybe become a breakfast person? Should I try a glass of milk? No, 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 no. I'm not saying glass of milk. <laughs> My preferred drink for breakfast... I just hate milk, that's why. ...is a heaping glass filled almost to the top of crushed ice and orange juice. 
That you have to drink orange juice with ice, or it defeats the whole orange juice. That is unmatched. For me, it's got to be crushed. For me, it's got to be crushed. Pulp, mm, the most pulp possible. Extra, extra pulp. Yes. Okay. Fair. Enjoyed. The most pulp fucking possible, but it's got to be crushed ice, and you gotta have it filled almost to the top. That, that's a necessity. <laughs> those, those specifics are needed in this. That that combo is unmatched. I will have that, and I'll I'll, I'll literally feel like a, like a king. With every sip of juice How I take. How often do you have this? Uh, I'd say maybe like once a week. And that's a good start of the week or end of a week. More like good way to end the. I week? had one yesterday. Ooh. I had one yesterday, and I was thinking about it. I was like, "Man, this." I was just, look, I was just looking at that glass. I was like, "Holy fuck, I'm, I'm getting hard." <laughs> <laughs> it was so good, dude. I love it. Did you take a picture of it? I was, you know, I might, I might have. I noticed that you posted a picture of your dog on Twitter, and you're like, "This is the best photo I've taken with my dog." Yeah, yeah. But what was weird is that that same day, I also took a picture like that with my dog. That was the best photo we've ever taken together. My photo was terrible though. Cause she was moving too much. But valid. Oh, he oh, <laughs> and he's smirking. I don't like that. I like it for him, but not for me. Oh, you didn't even take a a Kirkland oranges be hidden. Okay, uh, to be honest, it was kind of mid. It doesn't have enough pulp, in my opinion. But um, you, I know you see that glass. Oh yeah, you see that glass <laughs> filled with ice, almost to the top, <laughs> crushed, Mando. So. I've been let myself go there for a while. Months. Whole months? That was a couple years, no? <laughs> for the past 24 <laughs> years, I've been letting my life go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Honestly, you want to know how I got fat? Did I ever tell that story? Okay, well, well, okay. I've never told it about my aunt. You probably did, but. Okay, so I was four years old. My memory. You know? And it was me, my brother, and my aunt. I don't think my sister was even alive yet. How we, she's 20? Yeah, she wasn't even alive yet. It was fucking, uh, we were at this like lake type thing. I remember very vividly. And I just didn't want to eat. I didn't eat all day. I just didn't feel like eating. I was really skinny when I was younger. Like insane skinny. Sickly. Like, yeah. Freaking Holocaust sick. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I remember her telling me, she was like, if you don't eat, I'm going to throw you in there and the alligator is going to eat you. It was like a swampy type of lake. And I was like, I don't like eating by alligators. So like, yeah, you better start eating. And he's like, you don't stop eating because the alligators are going to get you. And I remember that vividly. For like two years, I would just keep eating because I didn't want to get eaten by an alligator. And then I had to gain a bunch of weight. But, I mean, okay, obviously being a child, you don't know that. The alligator is going to go for the juicy meat, not the fucking No, I know, but I, but I was a child. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I just gained a lot of weight then. Just instantly. Yeah. Because I was so scared. I never, I never heard that story. Yeah, I was so scared. But, yeah. So, anyways. But let myself go. So, I had, like, for those that don't know, I went on this, like, insane fucking diet for no reason. It wasn't for no reason. It was for $600. It was for that reason. And I won. $600 is 600 reasons. Thank you. That's 600 fucking reasons. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Okay. And then. Hannah Baker only needed 13. Are you kidding me? I did it, like, for, like, another month after. And I was like, dude, I'm fucking burnt out. I burnt myself out. And then Sunday night, I decided I'm back on. Full go. 100 go. Pedal to the metal. That hard? 600 reasons why? I wish. They didn't even invite me to the last weight loss challenge. Yeah, because they were fucking scared. How do you not invite the fucking the champ. reigning champ? So, this week I lost 11 pounds. But... I'm not doing it to where I'm not eating nothing. And I'm literally like, oh, that only has 60 calories? Not touching it. You're doing it the right way. The right way. There you go. The right way. That's what's up. So I don't eat breakfast because I never eat breakfast. Like, even when I go to work, nothing. You're just not a breakfast guy. Not a breakfast guy. I'm not really hungry. And I get my lunch at 8.30. I eat it. And I do it fast. So I stop eating at 6. Which I'm not going to do it today because I haven't eaten out months. Like, two months I haven't eaten out time okay okay but i'll eat my lunch and that's usually about like 350 calories about a quarter cup of rice 
And lately it's been like four ounces of ground beef, 97 or 93.7, or a piece of tilapia. And that's my lunch with some veggies. Tracking calories, tracking macros? Tracking everything. Wow. Yeah, scanning it, everything. That's intense, dude. And then when I get home, I'll eat one of those again. But I have them both prepped. So I have one and then the other. So I'm not like eating the same thing over and over again. And then, like you already know, a girl's been cooking dinner for me every day for like a couple months now. And then she even's like, oh yeah, let's just fucking wait. Because like cooking at home is infinitely healthier, healthier than eating it out. So I just like weighing out my food, even at dinner. Yeah, it's been going well. What about those bull- bulldog noodles? Well, if I want them, I have to account that for my calories. How healthy are those? Or not healthy? They're not healthy. They're so good though. They're healthy. They're 550 calories. For the soul. Uh. Think about it like this. You know that I don't cook with salt anymore? Mm-hmm. Or very little. Okay. And it turns out MSG is the healthiest salt there is. Do you know what MSG is? Madison Square Garden. <laughs> Shout out Knock Loose. I can sold that bitch out. For reals, for reals. So MSG is like that salt they use in like Chinese food? Technically we'll snip on it, but... <laughs> was it? I didn't <laughs> I think, see them yeah, on the flyer. So. Yeah, I was, I'm pretty sure it was slip knot. I don't know. Okay. And then, uh, then why is there, why are all the headlines saying knocked loose? Well, because they're in Madison Square Garden, bro. Any, anybody go to Madison Square Garden, that's a big deal. That's the top. That's a big deal. That, everyone knows that's the top. It's a big deal. Anyways, uh, where's that? Oh, MSG. The salt. That's like the most flavored salt that you can get, like the best shit. Mm-hmm. And I was doing some research on it. You can use four times the amount of that salt than you can with regular like table salt really yeah like you can get four times more usage for the same amount of sodium out of that salt so i fucking put put that now and then you get barely any sodium out of it it's fucking dank fucking dank and msg is known to like like you ever go to like a chinese place and get really dank fried rice That's no they I, use I, don't, MSG. I don't be, i don't be knowing the chinese places like that me neither Unfortunately, but I see it on the internet, and they always say it's MSG, baby. You know, like that uncle, that Asian uncle, he wears an orange shirt. Fuck, what's his name? No, I don't, I don't know. Who he's you're like a meme. About. He's like a meme, like a meme YouTuber. His name's like Uncle Something, and he's like a chef. He's like an actual chef, and he's like, don't forget the MSG. But he's like Asian. That was a terrible Asian accent. No, I don't. And he's fucking I don't know hilarious. What you're talking about he's about. funny. He's funny. You know who I like watching? Uh, something Wiseman. No, no, no. Joshua Wiseman? No, he's, he, he's, a, he's a chef, right? But he, he, he bougies up food. So his son, I believe it is, gives him food. Yes, dude. And he's Asian, right? Do you know who he is? No, Do I don't know. Do you know who the dad is? No. The dad is the OG Iron Chef. Really? Like from the OG show. So you know who I'm talking about then? Oh, yeah. Okay, totally. I love... And he's so... That guy's so cool, too. He's so nice and everything. Yeah, he's so cool. But he bougies up some yes. fucking whack ass foods, dude. But he was a he was a legit Iron Chef, not like oh yeah he's Iron no that that's Iron Chef baby. Yeah, I like that guy. I've never seen that show. That's a gr- it's on Netflix now. Is he better than Gordon Ramsay? Dep- what, define better. Better, you know better. Well, Gordon Ramsay is one of the most famous chefs in the whole world and has hundreds of restaurants that are all amazing. Versus an Iron Chef who obviously had great restaurants, but not nearly as many as Gordon Ramsay. Oh. So it's kind of just depending on what you want. And maybe they can have a cook-off like Bobby Flay. Who do you think would win? Who do you so personally right now, think would win? Right now, I think Gordon would win because he's still in the game. This guy's just doing TikToks. He's done. He's retired. Where's it going with all this? Anyways, um, with my height and weight, it says I can eat 2,600 calories and still lose weight. And I've been around 1,200 every day, but full, fucking full, wow, like really? stuffed. So right now, I still have like 500 calories. How many burgers is that? Not even, not even one. <laughs> uh, I think a double double is like 600 calories. I'm not trying, not trying no, to no. guilt trip you here. No, I'm. No, what I'm saying is, is that. But I want you to stuff your fucking face. No, I'm at like a thousand calories right now. And like, I want to stay around like 1,500, so I can literally eat fucking whatever I want. You know what? You know what would be a good a good uh, a good buy? A milkshake. I don't know why. That would be like a million calories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, you haven't had it in months. That's also okay. Let's see. You haven't had it in months. No, but okay. Sorry, this is a little TMI, but In-N-Out milkshakes 
make me dookie like crazy. Oh, like, man. Bad. Yeah, and that, that, that dookie, yeah, I took you know the other funny? week. Look, look at my most recent church. Fucking in and out Calorie tracker. Hey, he's on it. He's true to it. He stays ready so he doesn't have to get yeah, let's ready. let's see. Strawberry shake. That's my go-to. 610 calories. Strawberry guy, huh? Or I, I do a vanilla, too. Okay, let's see. The french vanilla fries. Guy, huh? the, the fries are 370. And like a double-double, 610. But I would get grilled onions. And that's going to be more. But they don't have that shit on here, which I don't like. Oh, the crispy bread. Just give me crispy buns. You can ask for an extra toast. Give me a grilled cheese, baby. You can, you know, you can ask for an extra toasted. But yeah, so anyways, I'm back on the grind. I'm feeling good. I'm not starving myself. Good. You're not fucking developing an eating disorder. No, no. And I've lost 11 pounds this week. My That's girl's badass, on it too. Dude. My girl's on it too. She's already lost four pounds. Are you guys gymming together as well? Not yet. I, we haven't found the time. She's actually at the gym right now. You guys are sexercising. <laughs> There you go. That's where you're burning up all those calories. I'm a fucking virgin. No, but also at work, I've been making it like a, a means in my head to walk twice as fast as normal. Because I feel like I'm just walking. Because I already walk a lot at work. My body used to that shit. Okay. I'm walking double time. There you just go. Because. That's what I like to hear. Walk with a fucking purpose. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, some also, people- dude, work has just been kicking my ass. Like, it's just been hell this whole week. Busy as shit. Busy as fuck. Really? Yeah. Yeah. How about you? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I am not. I refuse. I am off the clock. It doesn't exist until 6.30 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, you starting late? Well, that's the usual time. So you wake up at 3 in the morning and get to work at, like, what, fucking 4? I wake up at 4 in the morning. Okay. Get to work by 5-ish. And relax. Get to work by 5, 5, 10 ish. Yeah, I'd like to take a little nap. You Good know job, me. A little nap. Yeah. Stop exposing me. No, I take, you I, you know, I take my little naps. I enjoy <laughs> my little naps. But it's weird though, man. Sometimes I dream way harder when I take those naps. So I know, I know that off pod you've had some pretty weird dreams. Anything on pod you'd like to talk about? Um, no. No. <laughs> Pause. No. <laughs> no. We'll be right back. No. Off off air, will you tell me? I don't know if I should. Okay, then never mind. It's okay. No, it's not even like that. It's kind of like, I don't know if I should. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no. Oh, man. I wonder what I was dreaming about when you woke me up right now. I thought you were dead, bro. What, what did I look like? <laughs> I did feel you rubbing my leg for a while. And your feet. My feet? Yeah, dude. I didn't wake up? I was fucking, I was touching the bottom of your feet. Oh my God. See, but I was tired for real. Work's been killing me. I've been going to bed earlier too. I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> bottom of them feet feel like fucking red wing boot, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Those fucking things dude, are like leather. Dude, okay, so, <laughs> Holy fuck. So, dude, sometimes after work, if I don't wear the Crocs... I need to shave these calluses down because if I walk barefoot, my calluses hurt. Like, bad. It's weird. It's like in a specific pressure point. In a specific point where it's you like feel that, more babe. pressure. It's like, it's like that. Like but the thing quarter. is, but, but when, you, when, you, yeah. when you step, is there like a little point where you feel pressure in and like, it, like a pinch? No pinch, but I notice it getting sore when I walk on the callus. Uh-huh. Okay. And that's why I'm always walking with something on. And also, a long time, like, when I got my first pair of Crocs, and you, fuck, it's like you bought me every pair of shoes I've ever had. Oh, my God. You bought me those Crocs. Yeah, they're too big. Wears them. Oh, Aren't they? Cut it. She wears them. <laughs> no, I know. I, and, her yeah. mom, and her mom makes fun of her. Why? Hate her clown shit. shoes. Hate no, no, shit. It, if, in a fun way. <laughs> but, uh. Watch out, mom. Yeah, once I got those, I just realized, I was like, you know what, dude? I, the move. I remember I like before I would get in the bed I'd like wipe my feet off. Why the fuck am I doing that? What, yeah, why were you doing that? Cause like I would walk barefoot everywhere, like outside, inside. Oh, that's different though. Yeah, that's to- makes total sense. Just yeah. because I was like, oh, fuck, I don't need shoes for this. It's right. I'm just going to the fucking mailbox. Uh huh. Let me grab it. You know, so I wear shoes everywhere now. But I mean, to, yeah. Don't you think that's kind of gross? What? You're just walking everywhere barefoot? No. What's wrong, what's wrong with that? Our ancestors did that for years. A millennia. Yeah. 
They were fucking Neanderthals. It's, not like I'm, it's not okay. I'm not like going to the fucking store barefoot. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm just walking around the house area. Yeah, but then again, that's just me being fucking me. I don't. I I, I get grossed out by it. And another thing is the second. I am able to take off my socks and I know I won't have to put them on again. They're coming off. That's my favorite part of the day. Oh, probably. yeah, dude. That's great. I wear fucking socks all day in these goddamn boots. And you think I want to wear them longer? Fuck no. But it's not the feeling of taking the socks off for me. What is it? The smell. Fuck. <clears throat> you smell your own fucking sock feet? You don't? No. Not at all? Never? Like, like, you never, like, just get a quick whiff of it and, like, ooh. No, like, I'll smell my nutsack after a warm day, but that's a little too far for me. A little too far south. Oh, I like it. Your body can't bend that far? <laughs> I, Dude, I used hey, to... Hey, I can touch my toes, baby. I used to, As a kid? Oh, brother. You won't even believe it, baby. You can suck your own peen? My peen? Yeah. No, no, no. Were you that, close? That's a little hard. Were you close? No, I never tried. <laughs> but, you know me as a... Um, Recovering nail biter, mm-hmm. right? I'm, I'm getting better, but as a kid, I was fucking biting on them Johns, baby. I was, I was biting the toenails off my fucking things. What? Yeah, dude. I would fucking bring my leg up to my mouth, <laughs> rip them things off. Okay, those are that. Okay, that's nasty. I was doing. I was shoving my fucking my big toe in my nose. My big toe was all you the way do, up in my nose. You got big nostrils. Stop flaring them like that. And, and, Stop and, flaring them. And that. Stop flaring them. <laughs> <laughs> and that, I think that's where they got stretched out. They were. They, 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 they've been gaped since five. Oh my god! Stop. <laughs> it's that noticeable, huh? They're fucking massive right now. Am I doing it? Yeah, but I think mine look more normal though. It's because I have a deviated septum. Is that what it's called? You did a lot of blow in your day, huh? <laughs> no, I think I told you about that now. That my girl noticed it. And then... Because you suck from one nostril but not the other? Yeah. Nothing's coming out. Nothing. You feel something? Oh, you, you might have fucked yours too, huh? I feel something only out of this one. Oh, he fucked it. Hey, shout out Sound of Curious. Shout out whoever's foot that was. Oh, man. Hey, you know we can get surgery for that shit. Ah, I don't give a fuck. I feel like it'd be a, a a way of life type thing. What do you mean? The nostril thing. Hardcore is a way of life. Honestly? And I wanted to talk about this, I think, last week. Or did I talk about Did we talk about that at Stame Show? No. That was one of the best shows I've been to in a while. Wow, this is really tripping me out. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that. <laughs> he was making fun of me. Oh, it's way less. Yeah, you're getting nothing. You're probably getting like 10% airflow in that bad belly. Oh, man, and this, that bad there's no CFMs in there. Wow. That that at Stain Broken Vow show, that was one of the best shows I've been to in a while. Just like the energy I felt from it. That was a great show. I had tons of fun. Tons of fun. Tons of fun? Oh, yeah. What about that show uh, with Ruin and all them? Was that one better? The Pescadilla, whatever it's called? It was cool. Not as good as the one in Long Beach. I'm t- dude, in my opinion. So that that show was amazing. It was great. The, something about the energy that I felt that whole like that whole show, I had a smile on my face. Yeah. Literal fucking cheesing. <laughs> fucking awesome show. And I couldn't stop thinking about it. Major pain, they opened up. Uh-huh. They struck a chord with me. I don't know what it was. I got a little emotional. Really? Just a tad. Um, I don't know what it was. But the whole the whole thing front to back it was a great show that, that was one of the best times I had in a long time honestly I was trying to figure out who uh, Noodles' friend was and I was like was oh, it this one or this one from Ankle Biter and I was gonna ask him but I was like yeah you know what it's kinda weird but okay, I had your friend Noodles on the pod what's up man maybe that's not so weird that would've been pretty cool yeah, I'm that's, sure on, I'm that's sure, honestly not weird I'm sure he would've been like oh that's sick bro we used to jam together yeah that's honestly not weird maybe I should've but now I know who it is <laughs> I want to know now. He posted them. You didn't see it. It's okay. Yeah, I didn't see it. You're not an Instagram story guy. It's all good. But uh, yeah, dude, that show was seriously good. And I was telling my girl because she didn't understand. Didn't understand what exactly? The death threat cover. She didn't get it. Uh huh. She didn't get what it meant to me. 
She didn't get how special it was. It was really special. Oh, yeah. She didn't understand that that's, like, my shit. Special for, for a couple of reasons. Could, 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 uh, One, it's death threat. Death threat. Two, okay. it's abstain. Abstain. Okay. Three. That's like two of my favorite bands. That's, that's literally my top two bands. I didn't have a third, honestly. The third was when we got the shirt. I asked, I was like, "So death row cover?" And he goes, "Yeah, we'll do it." They didn't even plan to do it. They didn't even fucking plan it. But they have it in the arsenal. It's in the arsenal, but they didn't plan to do it. And it's crazy. That, okay, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you off, but I was thinking about this uh, yesterday. Right, I was thinking about that show as well, and I remember when when uh, they started getting into the song, he said, "If you don't know the song, it's about you." Oh fuck! Then I was like, "Damn, damn!" I didn't even notice. That. I just started walking side to side. <laughs> so, I uh, I was telling my girl because I was like, I was like, it was just such a cool thing. Not that I tripped over the mic twice, my fault, party foul. Two things. The kid who started singing fucking, uh, <laughs> he started singing the wrong song. Great song, still. But <laughs> he started singing "Dead at Birth." <laughs> I started cracking up, and he was like, "Wrong song, bro!" And he just kept going. That was cool. Tripping on the mic was cool too. Grabbing my glasses off the ground. That was also very cool. No one stepped on it. Yeah, that, they didn't get crumbled to pieces. Then, uh, <laughs> the the last part of the song, he walked out to me to give me the mic. That was fucking awesome. That was like, dude, that, that was sick. He probably remembered. He was like, this guy wanted the cover. Yeah. He literally, because I, I stood back. So I'll give him the I cover. I stood back where I was in the middle, and he walked out and just gave me the last fucking few words, and I was like, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That's lit. And it was going through my head, like, right after the show, and my girl just didn't get it. Well, I think she gets it now, because of how special it was, but yeah. But that's not why it was a, it was a good show. Every fucking band was good. Even Firestarter oh, was really yeah. good. Oh, yeah. And that was my first time seeing them. Anyways, the whole show was fucking good. Great energy. I just enjoyed it a lot. It's one of my favorite shows in a while. Yeah, I, dude, I'm fully agreeing with you 110%. Fully agreeing with you. I wonder what it was. I don't know what it was, but it was insanely sweaty. Oh, yeah. My pants were wet. And no offense... They gotta get some AC up in there. They gotta do something, man. Swamp cooler. I mean, I know I'm just a sweaty boy, just at at heart. But I didn't like my water. I think people, um, uh, I think people have an issue with it, and I feel very bad. Okay. Honestly, I told you already. For one, you're at a hardcore show and you're moshing. People are sweating. Number two, it's like 95 degrees in there, and you're moshing. To like all the bands, so if you got a little sweat in you, fuck them. They can move. I feel bad. That's all Honestly, it is. Honestly, bro, that's I, all it is. I wouldn't. Okay, maybe I would, cause there was like this really sweaty kid in Coachella Valley, and then he touched me. I was like, ooh. Yeah, exactly. See, cause I know I've been touched by, especially ah, uh, I, have, I have this one vivid memory. This big sweaty dude at LDB, right? Uh huh. He was his shirt was wet to the touch, uh -huh. and you know you're you're obviously <clears throat> around the pit. This dude slightly bumps into you, and your arm gets fucking soaked. And you're just like, oh yeah. fuck. Okay. That's see, that's how I remember those moments. Okay. When I'm that sweaty. Yeah. Especially in such a close environment like that. You know what I mean? Okay, maybe I should have let you change your shirt. No, no, no. I mean, I don't. You're this right. is why you got the extra shirts, though. Yeah, yeah. This is why I have the extra shirts. The thing was is that we went to the car like four times already. You didn't change your shirt by then? I'm saying. But it, I mean, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Let's be real. Good show, though. That's just yeah, great show. And we saw we saw where the accident was. R R I P. We didn't talk about that, huh? Never mind. Cut that out too. The accident? Oh, I don't care about it. Yeah, we saw the fucking site. Pretty bad. Unfortunately. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But we rise. <laughs> That's it. That's all you can do. Yeah, but great fucking show, man. That was literally a week ago, wasn't it? Or was that two weeks ago? That's two weeks ago now. Two weeks ago? Yeah. When's the last time I've been to a fucking show? What the fuck? Well, we're going to one tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. I'm sorry. Saturday. I wish it was tomorrow. I'd be fucking dank sauce. Actually, it's probably best that it's on Saturday. 
Yeah. Goes tomorrow. We got to bust the mission right after work. It's not the it's not the funnest thing ever. Not it's, ideal. It's great that it's on a Saturday, but it sucks that it's going to be. Um, it's going to be the same day as another amazing show in Oxnard, man. We've got human garbage minus swing back, bare watch minimum. you fall. No, no bare minimum, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, dude, that that show is going to be sick too. I just honestly, we're going to one of the biggest shows of the year. Like, a, kind of a local show, I guess. Okay, okay. Mongrel's gonna fucking headline it. Sick. Yeah, Mongrel's gonna headline it. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. Okay, honestly, I think I don't think World of Pain's gonna headline because their logo's right in the middle. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Good, good call. Good call. I don't know though. You're right. And then Mongrel's like the OG of the city, so it's like maybe you got to give them some props. Where's World of Pain from? San Diego. Oh shit. Yeah. I didn't do. They give me East Coast vibes. I don't know why. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Which makes it even crazier. But that's that's why, they might head, honestly, they should headline. That's why they're coming back. Because that show's so sick. Because it's in San Diego. Did you catch that? Uh, what was that band that, that Hereditary sounds like? Misery. Did you watch that show or no? Well, I bought tickets to that show. Oh, it's not. It hasn't happened yet. No, it's in September. Amazing show. Misery, Terrena, No Way Out. Where's that at? That's in... Uh, I forget. I forget where it is. It's in San Diego, though. Misery's from San Diego as well. Yeah. But it's going to be amazing, man. I'm so looking forward to that. R.I.P. Kale, he won't be playing. But, um, yeah, dude, I'm super excited for that. I was also telling my girl that I lo fucking love hardcore. I love everything about it. I was telling her after that show. I love that. I was telling her, I was like, I was like, baby, I need to tell you something. And she thought, she's like, oh, what happened? And I was like, I fucking love hardcore. And she's like, what do you mean? I was like, I love fucking everything about it. Everything that it entails, I fucking love it. Even the people that suck at moshing, I like watching them. <laughs> Coordination, guys. It's more it. But uh, yeah, I just love it. I love it. I will say, though, um, that after show food spot you took me to no wasn't the best yeah I liked it it was good it was totally good got the job done uh -huh. but a little too hype think so my opinion hey we did go right before close my opinion just my opinion okay hey I well, thought my. it was dank it was good but okay so we're, we're okay so you never give recommendations for, for places other than Cane's so let, let's I, hear something. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, if you would let me finish my sentence. Yeah. I was gonna yeah. say, I would have much rather gone to Kane's afterwards. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's because you only have one thing in your mind, and that's why it wasn't good. No, 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 no. Not true. Not true at all. It's because after every fucking show, you get Kane's. Well, that goes to show how fucking efficient. And good it is. I, I, I would attend. I right? would attest to that. It goes to show. I'm not a fan of the Kane slander in the, in the Discord, man. No, I hate it. I hate it. I, as a matter of fact, I, I haven't even opened up that thing since I saw that going on. It's... This is what I told him. I like Kane's. It's really good to me. I'm not a dick writer for it. People that say the chicken has flavor, it's not much. No, it's just it's a sauce. It's a sauce. It's a sauce place. But... They get they, it's efficient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, you that line's long as shit. You're still out of there in ten minutes. But you know what? I'll give I'll give it to a couple other places. Wendy's. Wendy's has a spot in my heart. I did say that in the chat as well. Wendy's has a big spot in my heart. I said Hoser loves Wendy's, in the chat. Big spot. Um. Where else? That's really it. I've been wanting to get into more of the Taco Bell Del Taco type. I need to get in my, my Mexican era. So, Del Taco was ranked number one fast food in America. Yeah, which, which, was, which was very uh, very odd to me. I've talked about forever. I'm tired of the Del Taco slander. You know, this is the same thing with Russ. Same thing. Hey, those double Dells, they smack. And Daniel, he's pretty kind of, he's kind of picky. He's not very picky, but he's kind of picky. And he was like, yeah, that was a great fucking burger. And their fries are dang. Those Double Dells are amazing. I love them. If you want something cheap, 
get a bean and cheese burrito with green sauce, bold. See, oh my god. But just like the conversation we were talking about or before oh we started, god. I am willing to put money on the table for something good. Okay. You're I'm basing this off fast food. You can't be like, oh, this is the best shit I ever had. No, no, for no. For fast food, two dollars. For two dollars, that shit's dank. But but the thing is, I'm 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 not one to go to a fast food spot and be like, I'm gonna get the cheapest thing here. It's not even that. It's that it's fucking good. Right, but but some people do go to certain fast food spots with the intention of saving more money, right? Oh, okay. I never have that in mind. What I have in mind is... I want your best. I want your fucking best, and I'm willing to pay for it. So it, you want my personal best? From, from Del Taco? From Del see, Taco. see, your personal best, I don't think, I'm sure, is, I'm sure it is good. But I don't think it's going to scratch the itch that I'm looking for. Okay, so you, you you're going to so get three chicken soft tacos. Their chicken soft tacos are elite. Okay. Elite. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to get a Cali bacon epic burrito with steak, not ground beef, not okay. chicken, steak. I'm liking the sound of that. And you ask for extra chipotle sauce inside. Chipotle sauce? Yeah, so it has like, dude, that chipotle sauce is dank. It's good. So yes, for extra chipotle sauce. But I haven't had this in years. I'll get back to that in a second. But I used to get a raspberry iced tea because that shit smacks. Fused raspberry iced tea is dank. Now it's Coke Zero. And then honorable mentions. Uh, green chili quesadilla. Fire, it's like a spicy green chili. Then... A bean and cheese tostada with lettuce on top. It's all that smacks. Okay, you lost me at tostada. It's good. It's oddly good. It's oddly good. It's, and it's like a dollar. Yeah. That's the dankest. I might have to make a trip through the Del Taco drive through I'll, 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 send, I'll send you the go-to order, leaving off the, uh, the extra stuff. I think I might have to just figure this one out on my own. See, and then he's going to be like, it wasn't that good. And then no, he no. didn't order what I said. I've had Del Taco before. I have. And then he's not going to order what I said. It has been good. But I, I think I need to curate my own order. I need to curate. If you're going to just get anything, just get the Epic Burrito with steak, add fucking Chipotle sauce. Add extra Chipotle sauce and a Coke Zero. And you'll be like, Dylan, that was fucking awesome. I, I, need, to find my, I need to find my lane here. With Taco Bell as well. I try to put them on game, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make that name for myself. Which is better, Taco Bell or Del Taco? I would say Del, uh, Taco Bell has been growing on me. Because my girl's a Taco Bell girl. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I never want to order there. So I kind of just get like the same thing. The, what, the potato tacos are good. Okay, okay. I like those. <clears throat> they have like a grilled, like they grilled cheese on a burrito. <laughs> that one's good. That's about all I like there. I like the Doritos Locos Tacos. Oh, those are good too, but I, good. I don't see myself ordering those. My girl orders them, and I usually get a bite. Those are good. But that's that's about it. I haven't actually had their tacos, like their actual like value tacos. You know, I haven't had those. I feel like those two places are somewhere where like you can easily, easily get a gang of food. 14 bucks. I'm not saying cheap, but take it down easily. You think so? I think so. So. It's a lot easier to consume more of that than it is some other fast food in my opinion I don't know why I just have the thought it probably is brother I used to take down like 20 tacos no problem that fucking Del Taco I mean but brother come on so so back in the day <laughs> I wasn't really friends with Jose anymore at the time sadly but I used to work at UPS I used to work the graveyard shift uh -huh. and I get off like 2.30 in the morning so I'd go up from Haven and at the top of Haven where the 210 is there's a McDonald's, a Del Taco, and a Jack in the Box. Every night, I'd get a full meal from Del Taco and a full meal from either Jack in the Box or McDonald's. Every night? Every night. And I gained so much weight. Like, in, in imaginable amounts of weight at that time. And I would eat it all. He said, supersize me. Literally, so, like, I'd get, I'd get that burrito with, like, five tacos. Not chicken, just regular tacos. 
and then I go to Jack in the Box and get a chicken chain about Monty Meal. Oh, that's so with good. With both drinks. You put me on game with that one. With both with both drinks. And at this time, I didn't know what the fuck zero was, baby. I didn't know what So I'd get two extra large drinks. <laughs> <laughs> Like, a two extra large fucking Cokes or... Uh, at the time, it was Dr. Pepper. Clearly. Goated. And then... Still is. I would eat both the meals completely. And I was so stuffed, I didn't even want to eat. I just kept eating it because I could. Every night. For for months when I worked there. That's glutton right there. It was terrible. Yeah. That was bad. Really bad. Hey, but... Tell me you weren't feeling like a lavish king. Um, it'd be like five in the morning. I'd be stuffing my fucking fat face. <laughs> I'd be five in the morning. I'd be watching TV in my room, stuffing my fat fucking face. And then, uh, <laughs> then there was like this twenty-four-hour Mexican spot down the street. I'd get a, I'd get a chili rana burrito wet, and super nachos, and I'd eat both. And the burrito's massive, like fucking giant. I was terrible. That's terrible. I was terrible. And there, their Coke tasted like that Mexican Coke. And they had the extra, extra large. You know, like that extra, extra large from fucking That double In-N-Out. Coke. Yeah. So I'd be getting that just for myself. Yeah, I was really going through it. I was really going through it. You were eating the pain away. Probably. That's tough, dude. <laughs> That's really tough. That's tough to do, like physically, literally. To- totally. That's hard to do. No, literally. I don't think I can. I can ever, ever stuff down that much food, even if you paid me. I don't think I can do it. I think you could do it. A, a burrito and super nachos. No. And an extra large drink. And and, make, and oh, Jack so, in the Box. So and the Jack in the Box del Taco was a separate part of my life. Mm-hmm. And then when I quit UPS, and I went to my other job. It, that was a daily thing. That was dinner every day. Same shit. It was bad. Bad, bad, bad. Really bad. What? I, really good, though. Can I do it? I probably can. Do I want to? No. 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 The only thing I will stuff my fat face with... Until you're overstuffed? Until I'm overstuffed. Two things. Sushi. Sushi. Uh-huh. And? No, wait. It's pizza. Pizza. Really? Yeah, man. I, I, I've seen you throw it before. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, we've been there before, man. You yeah, and I, we've been there. Before. I don't know. I just had a problem at the time, real bad problem. Fair, real bad. Valid. Really good though. Good and bad. Chicken tater melt is dank. Super dank. Super dank. Yeah. Other than that, that's really all I got. I'm ready for this burger, baby. Actually, I got one more thing. I've always wanted to create this app to where that like, you can scan shit that you have in your fridge, and it'll give you a list of recipes. Okay. But I didn't. I don't have the fucking app doesn't exist and I'm not I don't know how to make it so I went on chat GBT and I typed in all the ingredients I have and it gave me like 20 fucking things to make chat GBT is that app yeah so I made one yesterday but it was it's literally only giving me the ingredients I have in my fridge so I didn't put any of the seasoning or nothing mm-hmm. so I had to do that all shit on the fly it was pretty good and but did you did you do it to where it can give you like a a, a nutritious type of meal so no but it had a few things on there. It was like spam fried rice. I was like, I don't want that. There was a spicy like stir fry. It sounded really fucking dank, but I had the baby. So it said make these like patties with lemongrass. Because I have lemongrass in the fridge. Okay. And I was like, oh, I can do that. And I was like, that sounds good. And serve over rice. So what I did instead was I was like, okay, I'll combine the lemongrass with the ground beef. And I seasoned it up and everything. The baby mixed it. She made meatballs. One ounce, one ounce balls. And I made a chicken gravy. So I fucking, yeah. Yeah. It was dank. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't laughing at that. <laughs> Fuck you. So then browned them while, while the gravy was cooking. So when the gravy was done cooking, almost, I throw all the meatballs in there so they can cook in the gravy. And I made cauliflower rice. It was dank. How am I yawning? How am I yawning? Tell I'm, me. I'm so fucking boring. Right? No, no, Let's no. Get out of here. How am I yawning? I've had two Red Bulls. How am I yawning? Because you don't actually need the Red Bull. You actually need sleep. No. False. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm so fucking boring 
that you're ready to go. Not That's true. Okay, though. Anyways, False. anyways, it was dank. It was all dank. Chicken gravy. I'm not the biggest gravy guy. I like that white gravy, that cum looking gravy. That's that good gravy. <laughs> Honestly, mm. I want to learn how to make that because sometimes at the it's all canned. Make that biscuits and gravy, baby. Oh man. Give me a kiss or what? Mm. Give me a kiss or what, baby? I want to learn how to make it like OG. Also, Waffle House. Undefeated. I was literally like, I sent you that voice message. I was watering out my mouth thinking about it. Because they were talking about all the food yesterday, and they brought up Waffle House. And I was like, fuck the show on Saturday. Take me to Waffle House. That, pl- that place, is. they know what they're doing again. They know what they're doing out there. This has been a very good food episode. Appreciate y'all. 124. Um, you ready? Peace.